Hello my beautiful fairies and welcome to another video! Today we're gonna do another deep dive into an another aesthetic. I did a poll uh, here on YouTube and a huge amount of you guys, like 40% of you guys chose the weight score aesthetic and I'm actually pretty hyped to do it because I used to implement a lot of it uh, in my previous photography. I still do sometimes, but I just need to give a disclaimer real quick. So the witchcraft aesthetic is very much inspired by witchcraft, uh, wicca, paganism, which all these are religions that people actually believe in uh, and practice. And so it can be harmful for people to just uh, disregard all this and treat witchcraft as an aesthetic. I don't believe in any deities or practice witchcraft, but I myself considered to be a witch actually. Since I was a little girl, I used to have these books with different spells. Uh, my mom bought a lot of these books for me because they were fun and, you know, helped grow a child's imagination. And in these books there were like different spells like, like uh, make rose water, moon water, crystals, herbs, flowers and things like that and so I would really find myself at peace while doing all this and yeah the past few years I just started to do it again I collect crystals and herbs and I read a lot about paganism and witchcraft it's really it's really interesting and I really love it uh, although I'm in no position to educate you on that I I don't know much but I just wanted to clear it out uh, for the sake of this video. I mean no disrespect to any person who actually practices and believes in Wicca. Yeah, let's just start. In front of me I have the Aesthetic Wiki and... So, as I said before, Witchcore is an aesthetic centered around the themes of witchcraft and it involves some elements of Cottagecore and Naturecore. <sighs> living in the city be like ugh. it involves elements of cottage core and nature core which makes sense because there is a lot of nature included and flowers plants herbs and it the aesthetic revolves on the outdoor setting it often involves how to perform spells magic or gem collecting Okay, so witchcore visuals vary by type of witchcraft, however, there are patterns of objects and places frequently involved in witchcraft and witchcore as an aesthetic. So some, some of these are small potion bottles, uh, bouquets, herbs, dried plants, mushrooms, moss, forests, fields of flowers, seashells, candles, lanterns, tarot cards, wands. It's funny because I, I have all of these at home. Before this, lo this second lockdown, uh, me and my parents went on a forest back in uh, October and I collected like a full bag of acorns and I tried to choose the ones that weren't uh, perfectly shaped. I, w I wanted to, to collect the weird ones. I, I don't know. I also I have a huge botany journal, herbarium, is it how it's called? I don't know. Where I collect dried plants and flowers and uh, instead of writing which one is which because I'm not an expert I write down the day and the memory like where I was when I gathered it so I managed to create really beautiful pages of dried plants, uh, flowers and uh, leaves and I try to, to, to glue them after I dry them obviously I try to glue them on uh, pages of books Th these are old books, by the way, I'm not ruining the books I own. Uh, these are just old uh, books, damaged books, and the pages are yellow, and they look really good, so you can pretty much have beautiful artwork out of things you can find in nature. You don't have to invest any money into like buying all these things if you want to achieve uh, a nature-based aesthetic like this. So it's really 
it's just fun and beautiful at the same time so it's a win-win situation for me I don't know by the way excuse the fake ivy I wore on my hair I was taking some photos this is why I have my black backdrop in the back so yeah we also have a uh, tea butterflies I have them everywhere I this one I printed them on my home printer normal paper and I added this sear clear sticker so that it prevents any water damage uh, we also have cats owls frogs and this is where things get hard for me I really I wish I had a well actually I would love to have an owl but they are wild animals and um, I'm no expert to have an owl <laughs> so the second animal I would love to have is a cat but I'm currently living with my parents anyway then we have skulls moon, sun, planet imagery I'll try to focus on suiting these elements and making a beautiful synthesis I don't think I'll add myself in the photos that much but we'll see and yeah without further ado let's just start creating after I um, tidy all this mess on the back because I, I really I really can't stand my room being untidy it drives me crazy so I'll see you after I do that Bye. okay so I gathered all my handmade journals art some plants old book pages pages from my herbarium baby's breath little jars tarot cards basically I was trying to make a synthesis with all these elements I could have done more but my inspiration was so low these days I was literally pressuring myself to create in order for it to come back but it doesn't work like that so, the first photo I took was of my wall because it's very witchcore by itself and I didn't want to go overboard with the editing and color correction, I just added overlays to create this enchanting look. I'm really a fan of overlays as you might have seen from previous videos like this. You always ask me what type of filter or app do I use and I'm like, it's just pictures of noise, dust, light on black background, you add it on Photoshop and play around with the opacity and it's done. I never do something in a particular way, the editing is unique on each photo, the opacity is unique depending on the color, light and shadows of the photo you edit at the moment, that's why I cannot give you a proper tutorial, it's different every time and I would be lying if I made a video saying this is how I edit my photos and actually include certain steps, I guess I could make something really generic but it won't be enough, also I know a lot of you don't use Photoshop so it's a bummer when I mention it as the only app I use to edit a photo. So anyways, you can see here I'm just playing around with the overlays, trying to make it more archy, more um, whimsical, because I don't think there's much else to do, I don't like to change the colors that much, the photos of which core usually are a bit unedited, you know, they look very natural, so this is what I'm doing here, and I ended up with four photos, which I really liked, they weren't very dark, they were more fairy and colorful and cottage core inspired but I really like them so I don't know let me know what you think about it and I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you in the next video guys bye